Hey guys, it's Brian Fass, President and Founder of Injury Prevention Systems and Fit Responder. This month, I want to go off on a little bit of a rant. I just came off the road from about two solid months of consistent training and program development and program design for EMS systems, fire EMS systems, all over the country. During my jaunt from coast to coast multiple times, I happened to be in the field conducting training during EMS week. Two different departments I visited, separate departments during EMS week. And there's a common theme that keeps jumping out at me year after year. We should be investing in, our employee, in your employees. They are your best asset. Yet for each year at EMS week, what do I see? What are you providing your crews with? The same bad foods that we're teaching them not to eat in your wellness program. We're basically poisoning our employees and saying thank you for your service. Now that level of hypocrisy just blows my mind because your employee is the only thing that makes your operation run. We talk a good game about investing in our workforce, yet what are we showing them? Here, have some donuts and cookies. Thanks for your service. How are we as leaders supposed to teach the current and next generation to survive this job if all we're doing is setting them up on an unconscious level to fail? It's our job as leaders to instead of giving them bad food, give them good food. Dehydration is a big issue. Give them a water cooler. Simple things. I always tell my, you know, my folks, what's an employee really worth to you? Are they worth $15? Are they? Because you're spending less than that on each employee to thank them for their service for a high stress job. You know, when we developed our learning system, we priced it at $15 a person. Why? Because that's what an employee, the base level of what they're worth. Matter of fact, obviously they're worth much more than that. But for $15, I can teach your employee how to sleep, how to eat, how to manage stress, how to reduce injury, how to reduce their exposure to pain and disability, all the things that impact your bottom line. Yet we keep making the same mistake again and again. We try to do what's cheap and easy to thank them for their service. We're better than that. Our profession is better than that. We have to change the rate of suicide, post-traumatic stress, post-traumatic stress disorder, and obesity-related morbidity and mortality in our industry. It's up to us as leaders to step up, acknowledge that there's a problem, and take simple action to do something about it. So I challenge you, are your employees, is one employee worth $15 to you?